It says here, begin the game again, so I'm guessing it goes all the way back to the beginning, and otherwise I'm going to be stuck here until this ends. Well, it would be nice to have a jump button so the guy could just jump off the thing. Ugh. I love you, honey, I guess. <laughs> this is like Life Simulator or something. It is not fun. <laughs> Why do you think we enjoy playing video games? Whee! You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. <laughs> oh, I'm getting dizzy now. All right. <clears throat> I can't even go into my room because this damn chair's in the way. I don't know what the boundary break episode for this game would look like. <laughs> uh, I'll be in work in the morning. This is a perfect recreation of life right here. <laughs> God, you are able to prolong this forever now. To question nothing. <laughs> I'm kind of just looking at the problem to see what that's in, because like, that, I think that's interesting. Like, they clearly set you up here in this very boring looking area, but give you something of value so that you can isolate yourself for something, you know? That's what the human cognition is always wanting, is to have to be entertained in some sort of way. Otherwise, what's the point of our existence? Why are we still standing here? Just to suffer. Just to suffer. Uh, I don't know how to do like Kaz's voice at all. Was it Kaz or was it Pause? I keep forgetting. It's been a while since I last played Metal Gear Peace Walker. I can't see your butt. <laughs> Thanks, game. You tried to look me up on Mannequin's butt just to get entertained. There's an underboob shot, but I'm seeing no nipples. And it looks like she's actually wearing some sort of shirt underneath. Or some Daisy Dukes. I don't know. It looks like a very low polygonal model. <laughs> I think it was purposely made to be like that. Or that or the, kind of like the game developers don't have enough budget. I'm not getting any prompts anymore. Fuck, I think I am going crazy. <laughs> I can't fucking watch TV. Come on! Anything? Am I supposed to get out by now, or am I literally stuck? Oh shit, I forgot to turn on the timer, hold on. I think it's a good time for me to lace, waste a little bit more time around here, because I think this is it. I must have like an achievement if I like wait for so long or something. <laughs> My mom did give me some sort of lunch to eat, so... Huh. Maybe. <laughs> Do 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 bear bear bear. I can make up some like random bass lines for my band while I wait here. I don't know why does this room have like two light bulbs and there's no light bulb in that room. In fact, what kind of apartment is this to have such tiny space? I guess it's not that tiny, but still, it's like God. There's a kitchen. There's a tiny living room with like cramped up table space. There's not even a freaking bathroom, unless that door has it, but I assume that was a closet area or something. Is there? Does this place even have a closet? Yeah, I think I'm stuck here. I really don't want there to be a jump scare. <laughs> okay, let's just begin the game again because I really don't think there's. The end is never. This game is never ending. This, uh. looks different. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if, now, hypothetically speaking, because this is a different room, we go to the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it's it. Still playing the same thing. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. 
Everything seems to be perfectly fine so far. Stanley was so bad at following. All right, let's try uh, getting off the ledge and getting off onto that aisle right there. I think we've done it with the uh, wife ending and the fucking up the entire game ending. So I think perhaps we've gotten off on the road. Yeah, it's repeating itself. So I'm not sure if it's trying to fuck with my brain right now or if it's uh, I realize that investing in your trust in someone legit, else just like a different but the room. Fact is that the story for some has reason. been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have consideration <laughs> for others? Are you that nope. convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know. You've been doing something bad to me. I don't you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, yeah, well, I don't want to be helped. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. All right then. Got a lot of these like doors with labels, you know. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this again, really? I'm gonna take the blue pill. <laughs> uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the <laughs> red door. Oh, oh shit! I had no escape this time. I see. <laughs> what That's are you gonna do now, Grandpa? Communicating <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <gasps> <laughs> Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Wait, this is still a red door. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were not <laughs> supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Was it worth yeah, it's, it's nice to see, like, I the interior of what the game designers have to you. offer, you know? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. It also shows that you're a fucking lazy asshole nothing. for not designing because a room this like this, you know? You giving us a choice and all that. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate <laughs> these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. <laughs> It seems like a very dis... Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to the right door. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yes. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay. So I say five as in yes and one as in no. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these <laughs> flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, <laughs> it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Oh, wow, there's yeah, like four other options I could do. Based on your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Huh? The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboards! Oh, shit! We're going online infrastructure in this? Good old Neil, Skid, Nicho Nacho. It's like the speedrun community. In total. <laughs> oh, wow. Is this actual stats or is this just fucking with me? Did she know that 21% of players skip the intro sequence? Only the worst 3% player shows the. <laughs> uh, Stanley, oh my god. <laughs> I doubt that that's that many players like playing the damn game. Endings achieved. Doors will closed. Awards won. <laughs> this game is very innovative, I say. <laughs> Players are more attracted than Stanley. Aww. Aww. Now he's just making me feel bad. A dead rat! Jesus! <laughs> Jesus, fuck! I haven't been playing the game for five... What are you talking... What? what? What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? I have not played the game for fucking seven hours. What are you talking about? <laughs> This thing's rigged. Completely rigged. I say my experience is bad. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Put down your Steam reviews right now. now. 
Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Okay, I'm always willing Let to experiment, so... Alright. Yeah, this mouse is always, like, in the center for some reason. Like, I guess it's not too yes. interior. What? The baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button <laughs> to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, <laughs> the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why do you want me to play this for four hours? hours? To make sure it's effective. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. For four hours. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely... Actually, yeah, I do. They're fucking annoying. <laughs> matter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of well, a both. single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease <laughs> the pain. Let's see... What do we have? Oh, he's gonna go Psycho Mantis and mm -hmm. play a different Steam game? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Please tell me he's playing a different Steam game. I, I doubt. I'm not sure if the game's gonna be that meta or anything. Though that, that would require a lot of like programming. I feel, but uh, <laughs> it's fucking it's Mike. Game? It's straight up Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? There's no jump button! Will it There's no jump button! <laughs> well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Huh? Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> the spoon go here. No, here. And then... Is this the, uh, a trap? Or can it trap me in this Does it darkness? I, uh, yes, of course. Okay, dirt house, you noob. It all off. Yes. <laughs> it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience, please. <laughs> Step, Step inside, inside and make myself make comfortable. Yourself comfortable. Yeah, it's not giving me the ability to jump, so I guess that's literally the only option I can do. <sighs> oh, I can't even get in. What the hell? Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond Ooh. everything. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, okay. Let's go mine. For some diamonds. Uh, oh. If I go down, that means I can't go backwards, right? <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> wow, there's even, like, authentic Minecraft music in the background, too. Yeah, I can't go back at all. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Hopefully I could just increase my brightness setting and that could fix the issue, right? Nope, oh, nope, it's getting darker and darker. I see some mushrooms. This place is not procedurally generated, is it? Far more open-ended than I had. You clearly I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all, one out of five. <laughs> Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many, like, publishers did they, like, give the source code to this developer? If it's a different game, then what other games is it? It's gonna be like a very full-blown FPS game, or it looks like it has to be like an FPS engine or like a first-person perspective, right? So, oh, it's Portal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. 
You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to <laughs> me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it oh. any better myself. <laughs> what is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go Let's find, find there. out what the hell this is. Alright, do I get a portal gun? At the very least? Yeah, I'm assuming that they got agreements to this. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You oh, wow. <laughs> Genius. No, actually, you know what? God, I think that's plenty. <laughs> I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Oh! Wah! Ah! Uh. Where the fuck am I now? <laughs> uh, I'm back in my fucking like room or apartment room. So I always have to go through doors, don't I? Oh my god, it gives me the options. <laughs> or not. I don't know, it just leads to the same branching pathways anyways. Holy fuck. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any achievements for this yet. There's a light over there. Let me... Oh, wait a minute. The hell? <laughs> God, it is a little bit of a walking simulator, but it is a very nice like commentary on video games and all that. and Just video games in general, like interactions, developments, all that. Hmm. Am I stuck here? Is this one of those endings that's never ending? <laughs> and I have to reset the game. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder mm. if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Mm. I can wait. <laughs> I see. Must be one of the endings, right? Am I back in the original area? <laughs> Have I learned my lesson yet? Oh my god. You could replay through this forever and not be done with it. Like, holy shit. <laughs> yep, I'm uh, back here again. Well... <sighs> We'll be right back with the next episode of The Stanley Parable and figure out how many more goddamn endings there are. Stay tuned. <laughs>